So I'm mainly concerned with if any of the guidelines seem contradictory, then it's fine. Tell, tell me why you did what you did. Because there's actually, for a gnarly sort of style problem like that, there's a number of possible choices that I think would be equally okay. So we could do it all the same way? Sure. Yeah, just explain why why you did that, why you think that that was a good choice. Okay, that changed it. But the, the, the goal here, the goal of any workplace writing is what's clearest and most easy for the reader to deal with. Yeah. That's the card. Uh, and here's a, little, here's a little sociological explanation for you. If you do nothing else, just take this away. If it's a number less than 10, spell it out. Unless it's like feet or inches. Why is that important? I'm writing a job letter to apply for a job. And I say, I have, I write this sentence in my cover email. I have three skills and I use numeral for three. Why is that bad? Why? Why is it bad? Because I'm telling you, it's bad. Why? Is it because it looks smaller than it could be? First of all, how many people would do this? I got three skills. Okay, so I use the numeral three. I mean, come on. This is, I'm, just, I'm just asking. How many people would do that? It's not like, I don't even know your names. It's not like I'm going to say, like, oh, okay, you fail. I mean, I, if I were your age, I would do that. I'd probably do that every time. Because why wouldn't you? And look at how much more efficient it is. I could write out T-H-E. No, I'll just I can hit a three. There you go. And here's why I would really do it without thinking, because here's where I've done most of my writing growing up, right? So what do you do when you're messaging someone? Do you write out? No, you just put a numeral there. And that's why it's a poor choice for especially like the cover email for a job. Here's what you're saying to the probably 40 or 50 year old person who's at the other end. Yeah, I'm, I totally am completely informal and I'm treating this like a, okay. you people don't care. If you were on the receiving end of this, you wouldn't care because that's how you do it too. But when you're especially like applying for a job, you're dealing with an age divide. You're communicating with someone from a different generation, literally, who did not grow up with text messaging. So when I see this sentence in a cover email for a job, here's my reaction to it. Oh, you. First of all, thanks for reminding me just how old I am. So there's that. And second, like, oh yeah, you're one of those loosey-goosey going to have to be on top of your grammar every day. Don't do that. But here's the thing. This is going to change. This is the rule now. Probably 10 years from now, it's going to be just use a new world for everything. Because you folks will then start taking over the world and you'll be on the receiving end of the job letters, right? You'll be like, I got a problem with that. And in fact, if someone spells it out, it'd be like, hey, Grandpa, what are you doing trying to get this job? <laughs> be like, you're ancient. What are you doing? So this is going to change. Because again, all these rules, they're sociological. Like, they weren't made up at random. They do stuff, right? So the, this rule of thumb communicates something to a particular generation who is still, for the most part, in positions of authority. But when those people die, the rule will change because it will reflect a different reality. Well, wouldn't we, in, like, wouldn't we still keep those because we've been writing for that for so long, so we would expect it from our Well, that's, that's, that's where my show of hands went completely left on me, because I was like totally expecting everyone to be like, well, yeah, I put a new role there, because why wouldn't you? Right. You know what I mean? So here's the thing. Um, this is, like, has anybody ever been hammered for this? 
You have been? You, you oh, so you have. You did it too. Oh, I, I did it. I did it all. <laughs> Uh, and other th other than from me, has anyone been hammered for this? But who who who? It's high school, middle school. Sorry. High school, middle school, grammar teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same thing. High school, middle school teacher. Yeah. How old were they? Oh, like 40. 40 something. And this was like 10 years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was like the tax test rule. You can't do that on the tax test. So <laughs> tax test. Done. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's all that mattered. It, I, How old are auditors? They're in their <laughs> I remember in high school there was a we had an English professor who retired like a year later, but yeah. he had a strange. I think his his number was like a hundred and ninety something. Like you spell it out up until this number, and until and then I came to college and I explained that to one of my professors, and they said that's a style preference. Hmm. So gotcha. while it is grammatically correct, I think a lot of it is style, and I think that's why it's going. Oh, it was totally style because yeah. I mean I know what you're communicating. There's nothing grammatically wrong there. It's just that that numeral annoys me because I'm 44 years old, right? It doesn't annoy you folks because you're how old you are. You're not 44, probably. It's just personal preference, really. And but it 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 communicate. It's kind of wrapped up in a lot of sociological mm -hmm. stuff, right? It's like so what you're like if I'm reading a cover email applying for a job that has that in it, here's what I'm seeing. You do not understand audience analysis. You didn't stop to think, who is the person who's likely reading this? What is likely most, what's their likely preference? I shall do that instead of just not thinking. You know, This to me says, you just weren't thinking. That connects to a bunch of other stuff that I don't want. But it'll change when you folks complete your takeover of the world. Probably another 10 years. So. But in the meantime, it's something to think about. It's audience analysis. That's really all I had grammar-wise to talk about. Anybody got any grammar questions?